Hey everyone, this is Jason with FlexiShield. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys an in-depth rundown of our RIP system and everything you guys can do with it and how to use it. So once you guys are in RIP and you have a pattern pulled up, you're going to be presented with a screen that looks very similar to this. Uh, the pattern will obviously be different depending on which car you guys have, um, but everything else will be the same. So once you're actually in here, uh, the most important thing is you want to come up here and go to the layout. Uh, you want to pick the uh, proper size of the roll that you guys have. So if you guys um, only have a 48 inch roll, you want to click on that. And as you can see, it actually shrunk down the size of the white area. Um, let's take it back up to 60, that way this pattern can fit on there perfectly. Um, but say for example, you guys don't want to do a full body wrap. Say you only need the hood and the front bumper. So you don't need all this extra stuff. So what you can actually do is if you um, click and drag, you guys can highlight multiple pieces at once and you can just drag it down here into this gray area. Another thing you can do is just click on one body panel and move it around individually. Anything that is down here in this gray area won't be printed. Only the white area up here is the actual printable surface. So you want to get this hood piece right here and this front bumper or these two front bumper pieces right here. So you don't need this. You can drag that down and reposition that. And then all these other little pieces, we don't need them either. So we can just take them out of here. All right, now once we have all those out of the way, we can position and move these any way you guys want to, to limit the amount of waste and everything, but you can position them in any way you guys want to. So say for example, you wanna do really fine tuning and you wanna move this one and you wanna turn it. So what you can do is if you right click as you're hovering over it, you can go to the rotate option and you can rotate it just by moving your mouse. Or you can also use the arrow keys for really, really fine adjustment. Arrow up and arrow down will help you do that. One thing you guys do want to note is at the edges of the, of the roll right here, you want to make sure there's a little bit of a gap. You don't need quite, quite as big of a gap as this, but just having a gap that's kind of like that is really good because you want to make sure that there's room for at the edge because the plotter itself as the roll goes through you want to have a little bit of overlap because is as it's cutting if it gets too close over here you run the risk of the edge of your pattern uh, not being quite exact another thing you want to note is you see this one right here it's outlined in red that means that it's either overlapping something or it needs to uh, be moved so, as you can see, there's this little pattern right here that it was actually overlapping. So you can take that out of the way. Also, if it hangs over the edge, it'll also show red. So if you can move it up, you want it to be green, and then it's good to go. The patterns themselves here, you can make them kind of close together. Um, so if you just click on it and then you move the air, uh, use the arrow keys, you can move it closer and closer. Just leave a little bit of a gap in between. So one more thing you guys can do is there's this little emblem piece right here. Say you don't want that on there. What you can do is you can click on it, right click, and then click delete sub item. There we go. So once you guys have everything positioned exactly how you guys want it to be, um, all you need to do is if you don't need to do anything else to it, uh, you can come up here to the print function right here. When you click on that, as long as your plotter is hooked up to your guys' computer, then you guys are good to just set it right on over there and print. Another thing you guys can do in the software is say, for example, you want to edit how long this piece right here overlaps. You can click this button right here and it will take you into the edit feature. That'll actually go over in another video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.